get in the car quick, you guys, okay? The car was coming and I had to go. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to a vlog. This is Sheree in the future. I do not know where I left off at the, on the vlog because I didn't put the clips together yet, you guys, but I did go on a staycation for Valentine's Day weekend. Yes, it was a weekend. I tried to celebrate it and stretch it out to the entire end of the month. That didn't work. I'm back home, back to reality. But anyways, I had an amazing time and I wanted to share with you all what fragrances I took and how they performed and how they last and everything like that. And the new discovery I came up with, I didn't find a new fragrance, but I did play with a fragrance that I wore on Sunday um, or was it Monday? Sunday, I think. I think I wore it on Sunday for my jog on the beach. And it was so beautiful. It was so amazing. It was none other than this one here. This is all I have. If you've been watching the channel for a while, um, you'll know this one. This one is Tom Ford Soleil Neige. I bought the Discovery uh, of all three, Soleil Blanc, Soleil Neige, and there was another one. I can't recall. Anyways, um, yeah. So this is what I took on vacation because it had the cute travel set with it and I wanted to be able to take it and not have anything happen to it. So the first time I got it and played with it, I was like, no big deal. Like, what's the big deal? It's Soleil Nage. I didn't find it to be all that. You guys, it was about 70. I went out for my morning run on the beach. It was beautiful. The sun was shining. The birds were chirping. The waves of the water was coming up on shore. Ugh. God, girl. Anyways, it's a beautiful fragrance. I totally changed my mind. I need a full bottle of it now. It's an amber floral, okay, bergamot, carrot seed, orange blossom, jasmine, Turkish rose rolls, benzoin, labdamum, vanilla. I don't know why I didn't know by the notes that I would love this fragrance. Well, I have played with it before, earlier towards I would say fall, and I didn't get this vibe from it. I did not get this vibe at all, but I played with it again. And I am here to tell you, she needs a full bottle. So I did wear this on the staycation and it was an amazing fragrance. I think I go over it a little bit, but I really don't share a lot about it. So that's why I'm doing the video this way because I was just living my best life. Okay, I was vlogging and I was living. Okay, so the parts that I didn't share in the vlog, I'm telling you about them now. Now, if you watched Friday's video, Friday's video was what I wore in a week, fragrance edition. Thank you so much, beautiful souls, for helping me name the series on the channel. I told you on Saturday, my guy whisked me off to an amazing, beautiful uh, brunch on the beach, and we left out Saturday morning, I wore this whole outfit, Oh, you'll see all that in the vlog. But the fragrance that I chose was this. I wore Baccarat Rouge 540 mixed with Creed Aventus for her. I told them in the last video for redundancy purposes. I'm just gonna say it again because somebody didn't watch Friday and somebody's just watching Sunday. So let me catch you up, growl, guy. Baccarat Rouge 540, luxurious, fabulous. It makes me feel a certain type of way. Rich, classy, elegant, I love it. I don't care how many people are rocking it. Nobody's rocking it like me. I said what I said. This one here is another one that makes me feel elevated, upper echelon, very classy. It was about 70-ish hours. So I felt like something like this would be appropriate, even though this is supposed to be like a spring summer fragrance and we're dead in the smack of winter, but it feels like summer. So I reached for this anyway, paired the two together. Beautiful fragrance, fruity notes in the beginning. It's got some green apple in here. Uh, it, what else does it have in it? I have the notes here in front of me, just in case it's your first time. Peach, bergamot, sandalwood, musk, pink pepper. Beautiful fragrance, beast mode when it comes to longevity, siage, scent trail. This is gonna give you all of that. Both of these are. The only thing about this one is it plays a disappearing act. We all know that in case you don't, it does, at least for me. Pair them together. Thinking that I would mix both worlds, fabulous and fabulosity, meet one another. I don't know how I felt about it. I really didn't get a wow factor. I didn't receive any compliments. I was out, everybody was masked. We all had our mask on, so I didn't receive any compliments really. When I got in the car, my guy didn't say, oh, you smell good, and I had just sprayed myself. I had just doused myself, actually. I got in the vehicle, and we were driving, and I'm, you know, moving and whatever, seeing if my scent uh, bubble would, you know, disturb his peace or anything, and he never said anything. And I'm like, wow, nobody can smell it. And then throughout the whole day, I had to ask myself twice, what am I wearing again? because I didn't smell it. So let me know if you tried this combination and how it worked for you. For me, I wouldn't try it again, but I'm sampling these days, just putting fragrances together to see what kind of combinations I come up with. If I ever come up with one that's really, really good, I always share it with you guys. But this one here, it was a fail for me. I didn't really receive anything from it. I didn't even remember what I was wearing. So this was a no-go, I move on. Sunday night, we went out to dinner and I wore something else. What did I wear, what did I wear, what did I wear? I wore Oriana and I wore Love Don't Be Shy paired beautifully, 
sexy, amazing combo scent. Absolutely, Ariana was giving me, Oriana, why do I call it Ariana? Oriana was giving me luxurious, glamorous vibes. I kind of knew I was gonna wear that somewhere in the Valentine's Day weekend. I speak about it all the time, tons of videos on it. If you want a more in-depth, detailed review, click my name and the fragrance and we shall appear like a genie but not in the bottle here on YouTube. And then I paired it with Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. No, I did the regular, Love Don't Be Shy. I just did the regular because I just had the little samples of it and I took that with me. I wanted that for when we got back from dinner and we were chilling at the hotel and I wanted that whole Netflix and chill, sexy, intimate, close quarter kind of vibe and it definitely delivered. I move on. Now two fragrances that my guy wore that I have to share with you guys. I won't spend a lot of time on them because I talk about them all the time. I'm whispering because we have to go and I should have been downstairs 15 minutes ago. Shh, I have to tell this to you. Anyways, <clears throat> he wore Saturday night out to dinner. No, 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 Sunday, Sunday. Was it Sunday? I think it was Sunday. He wore Oud Satin Mood. Oh my gosh, it purred like nobody's business. It is so sexy. I tell you this all the time. The perfect blend combination of oud and rose. It's blend to perfection. Now I always wear it and I know how it smells on me and I absolutely love it. But I will tell you the truth. This on him was like, whoa, okay. Shock factor. It is like, just he just knows how to wear a fragrance. I mean, he just, it was like beast mode on him. It was so uber, uber good. If you have not tried oud satin mood, Definitely, I would recommend get a whiff of it. I would not say blind buy it. I would not say, you know, just go out and purchase it. It is a pretty penny. I'm always gonna encourage you to start with a sample. Okay, I gotta move on. This is what brings me to the kicker. Oh, where's my notes? Okay, because I made notes because I have to stay on task. <clears throat> Vlog style. Okay, so anyways, I recently did a video. My top 10 Tom Ford fragrances. Now, I have about 25, 30 Tom Ford fragrances, but I only wanted to choose my top 10. And I felt like some of the other ones had attitude when I got back to the closet because they were like, why well, you didn't pick me? Anyways, um, don't be a pick me person. So you all were saying in that video, and I didn't know how many of you loved Tom Ford. You know, right after Chanel, it's Tom Ford for me. Out of my collection, my hugest collect, the hugest fragrances in my collection are Chanel. Right after Chanel, it's Tom Ford. That's how it goes for me. Chanel, Tom Ford, I'm not getting into that. Anyways, um, so yes, huge, huge, huge Tom Ford lover over here, right? So all of you in that video were saying, Sheree, you've gotta get your hands on, and I hope I'm saying this right, Noir de Noir. I did. The last time I was at Bloomingdale's, look at this. My client advisor gave me this amazing sample. And she's like, Sheree, you're gonna want this for your next buy. You're gonna wanna pick this up. And so we have been sampling it. And like I said, we were going on vacation. So I packed all of our decants. I have this in a decant as well. So I packed this, duh, okay, um, in the decant. It looks like this. And this is it. And this is all we have left. Look at this. We went in on this fragrance. Now I put some on and I was like, oh my God, this is so good, this is so good. So then my guy said, well, I need a fragrance to wear. And you guys are gonna hear him in the vlog and he's talking about he's wearing Lost Cherry. He is not wearing Lost Cherry, okay? He was wearing Noir de Noir, but he loves Lost Cherry. So he was like, no, I'm wearing Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Whatever, don't listen, he's wearing this. So anyhow, he puts this on. <sighs> Ladies, come in real close. Shh, shh, shh. Your guy needs this in his life. I'm, j I'm, I'm just saying, I was staring at him. <laughs> I'm always staring at him. But I was staring at him in ways and like, have we met? Like, where have you been my whole life? Like, oh my gosh, it is the perfect blend of oud and a floral note. It's soft, but then it's masculine, but not really masculine. It's just like, oh, like hot, heavy, risen, sexy. What you wanna do? Where you wanna go? Who you wanna be with? Who you choosing? This made me wanna be a pick me girl. I'm just telling you, it did. When he wore this out that night, and I was sitting across from him at dinner, and we were locking eyes, and I was getting a whiff of his fragrance, I was like, excuse me, sir, what's your name? <laughs> It had that kind of vibe on me. I'm just saying, that's where it transported me. That's where it took me to. This is definitely full bottle worthy, just as well as Tom Ford's Soleil Neige. Both of these will be picked up really, really soon and coming home with me. If not this weekend, the following weekend. I don't know what I have planned yet, but they will be picked up and coming home with me. Uh, let me give you a few of the notes. This one here, Noir de Noir, is a unisex fragrance. Like I said, most of Tom's, fra most of Tom's fragrances are Saffron, hello, a winner, Black Rose, Truffle, Patchouli, Vanilla, Oud, 
include in Oak Moss. All of the notes that I love, I tell you guys about those same notes all the time. I like what I like. I know what I like. I like a fragrance that's hot, that's heavy, that can deliver. This was beast mode. This got on him, it projected like nobody's business. The scent bubbled, the scent trail, the scent everything. It went with this, what did he wear? Like a, a he, he had on like black, Pants? Black pants? Yeah, he didn't wear jeans to dinner. He wore black pants and then he wore like, um, I don't know, like those loafer shoes or whatever that the guys wear. The big face watch, collar shirt, bald head, leather jacket. I was like, oh, okay, so this is what we doing? You know what I mean? It was really, really, really good. This fragrance is so, 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 I wrote it down uber 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 sexy i definitely find it to be a fall winter fragrance very early spring if you were gonna rock it in the spring um you know you spray what you want when you want and spray as much of it as you want but if you were asking me my opinion i definitely find it to be very sexy for those type of um you know that type of weather it's definitely you know heavy and it's hot and it's giving a lot you don't need a lot of this you just need a little bit we did both go crazy on it it smelled better on him than me because on me I was just like oh I smell like him you know what I mean because he wore it first and now I only want to smell it on him so if you are looking for something for your boo your bae your guy and you just want to gift him <laughs> just gift him something that's gonna be something to remember I would definitely say get your hands on this definitely get a whiff of it that is my um, conclusion on the fragrances that we wore I mentioned some other fragrances in the video of the vlog but I don't really you know I mentioned one that I wore from Creed I was going for another run on the beach or I was going to the gym I'm sorry my apologies I was going to the gym and I popped on one from Creed I believe it was called I don't know it'll say it in the video it wasn't anything to write home about it was really really nice but you know it wasn't anything it was like a fresh ginger citrusy type of fragrance um, nothing that I would probably go and buy the full bottle although it was really nice and that's it. So we're gonna go on to the vlog. The vlog is gonna be a little all over the place, you guys. Like I said, I was living my best life, but at the same time, I had moments that I wanted to share with you all as well. So I just brought the camera, and whenever I you know, thought about it, I picked it up and I vlogged it. Some's on my phone, some's on the camera. Look, girl, guy, it's a vlog. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Take 2.5 seconds right now and drop your scent of the day. What are you wearing? Also, thumbs up this video, and I will see you beautiful souls in the next one. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by my channel to watch the video and I know a lot of you tune in just to watch fragrance too so I thought that if you didn't really care about the vlog okay I get it if you didn't really care about the vlog and you just wanted to know about the fragrances this was the fragrances that I wore on my staycation and those of you that want to see a little bit more please continue to watch <laughs>
Uh, I've mixed two. I am wearing Crete Aventus for her, and I am also wearing Bach Rouge 540. Oh, I mixed them together. So that's my scent of the day. It is Valentine's Day weekend. Nothing but palm trees and blue skies. You guys, it does not feel, I'm gonna take this down. It does not feel like winter at all. It's very much given summer vibes. But I am heading to the store, and I will probably pick you guys up a little bit. I'm just gonna be picking you up here and there. It's not gonna be a real, you know, um, structured vlog it's just not it's just gonna be what it's gonna be i'm just gonna pick you up and the car's here okay i gotta go bye guys yeah i was kind of thinking that i wasn't gonna have enough water they totally took care of me this is really really good and this is like bottled water so i'm super excited because i drink a lot of water you guys seriously so i'm super excited about this um how cute is this candle i ordered it for Valentine's. Actually, I didn't order it. I got it at um, Nordstrom's Rack. And, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. So I cannot wait to light these wigs. Oh, it smells good. And I brought this, which is my rose, uh, come on, thing, focus. Rose oil. It's like a massage oil. And then I also brought this because I need this to sleep. And it is eucalyptus. This is the only way I can really get to sleep and have a great night's rest. And then a water, which I need. I don't know why that Coke is there. It is 27 p.m. So I am going to get ready and get undressed for bed. And I will see you guys in the morning. Because me and my guy are going to head out. I don't know. I might pick you guys back up. Because we're going to head out on the balcony. So I might pick you back Bye. up again. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? How beautiful is this view? Good morning, beautiful people. How gorgeous is this view? One with nature. Oh. I'm gonna get dressed and go take a run on the beach. Good morning. The birds are chirping, the birds are singing. It's going to be a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Last night was absolutely amazing. I cannot uh, remember where I picked the camera up, up last. I just can't. Um, but we had a really good time. Tonight we have dinner reservations. And today is the Super Bowl. It is Super Bowl Sunday. So I have to get in and watch church online this morning. But before I did, I wanted to say good morning to you all. And come and just let you see the beautiful palm trees. Oh my gosh. It is absolutely stunning. Last night I wore a combo. I wore Baccarat Rouge 540, what else is new? But I mixed it with Creed Adventist for her. It was really good, but it didn't do what I thought it was going to do. It wasn't as loud as I thought it was going to be, but it was really nice. Oh my gosh, camera do not fall. It's beautiful. This is such a beautiful property. Okay, I'll pick you guys up again soon. Ciao for now presumed it would be better but it wasn't you guys today I am going to rock something from Creed this is just for the morning run on the beach what is this um no I don't want to wear that one there's one in here called iris or citrus what is this this is iris no vitiver no zest yeah I think that's gonna go with the beach walk wait is it oh no citrus this is it Come on, thing, focus. What's the name of it? Creed Citrus. Oh, oh, I don't know how to say that name, so let's try it out and see what it smells like. Ugh. That's citrus, all right. <laughs> that is citrus, that'll do it, that'll do it. You don't have to worry about me. You don't have to, hold on. I'm still testing that one more. I wanna see if I like Iris better, you guys. Hold on. Oh, Iris is nice. But no, um, I'm gonna go with Citrus for the walk on the beach. And of course we have to stop and get coffee. I don't wanna have breakfast right now, we're gonna have coffee. Excuse you? 
That's all I need is one meal a day. Okay, guys, let's go. <laughs> all right, it's, it's start. It's so beautiful out there, okay, right? Okay, pause break. It's Sheree in the future. You guys, I broke out so bad from the mask. Oh my gosh, if you look at my face, like right around the mouth area, it is a hot mess. It are It's all those little fine bumps back again. So this mask was, I tried to get like a thicker, more protective mask, but yeah, this mask totally broke me out okay back to the video sorry i just had to let you know bye hold on i gotta put this mask on this mask is so super thick i mean it's like really thick okay all right we're good let's go do we need to turn anything off no lock anything no let's just go I'll make sure that door closed this is a little bit better light. If it's cold out, I'm gonna put my hood on. It might be cold. And I brought sandals, which I probably should have brought tennis shoes, but I don't want to get my tennis shoes dirty. And um, I only have white tennis shoes. Well, most of my, all my stuff is white. What else is new? What? What? A step? Oh, thank you. This is a view from over there. And then they have a cute seating area in here. I might come in here and sit down. Wait, how's the lighting? It's okay. You guys are going to get coffee, my favorite. I'm super excited. She loves a good coffee. Yeah. You know, you know, I answer when you call and check in. Tell me what's the case, what's the matter? Tell me what's your name, looking fantastic Dark skin like Fanta Danger how she move, no Panta Hey, 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 hey Nina Tombong Panta, yeah, maybe You got a minto, got a four minto Baby, now so oh no I met a girl from the UK She a dance, she a cutie I tell her, come if she wanna see me She love the queen and she love when it rains She said, bring out the money from the AT dressed and I'm ready to go I haven't picked you guys up since I don't know when but anyways um this is the look for the night I guess I could turn you around I can't decide what shoes to wear this one which is a little higher than a kitten heel Latanya hello <laughs> or this one which is a kitten heel um it just depends on what girl you're trying to be but I don't really know yet but yeah this is the outfit of the night I just have on this blazer from Zara a cami from I don't even know where this is from or forever 21 I think and I'm carrying where's my bag I'm carrying my oh my god I don't know where my bag is this is bad oh and we were watching the Super Bowl so the TV is extremely extremely loud but I'm carrying my Chanel bag from yeah the Rams one finally we're super excited because that he was about to stress me out what well, he did stress me out oh here it is so yeah I'm carrying this bag because I love the chain detail. It's absolutely gorgeous and it matches my blazer really well. So this is the look of the night. We are heading out to dinner. We're gonna have it on the ocean front. It always makes me a little nervous because I can't see it's so dark. So I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I eating? You know, but for the romance level, you know, is what we're doing. So I am heading out. I will probably pick you guys up and talk to you again soon. What is the scent of the night? Oh, I'm wearing Killian Love Don't Be Shy. Um, my scent of the night is I'm wearing Killian Love Don't Be Shy and oh I need to put a lip on <gasps> I forgot because we're wearing the mask so I wasn't really thinking about a lip but I need to put a lip on for pictures and then um, Killian Love Don't Be Shy and I mixed it with Oriana you guys I mean you know it is what it is and what are you wearing? Uh, I don't know. How could you not know? Tom Ford, Duarte, Duarte, something uh, like that. Lost chair. No, it's, you're not wearing uh, lost, lost chair. chair. No, he's yeah. not. He's not wearing lost chair. Lost he, chair no, no, you're not. You're I'll put. I'll put the list there. What he's wearing. I'll put it in the thing. We will see you guys later. Good night. I was saying